Working during the 17th century, Isaac Newton conceived a thought experiment which was based on his speculations about the orbit of the moon. He imagined a cannon fired horizontally from a very high mountain. The projectile fired from the cannon would follow a parabolic trajectory, eventually falling to the earth, as a result of acceleration due to gravity directed towards the centre of the earth. If the velocity of the projectile is increased, the projectile will travel further and further before falling back to the earth. Newton reasoned that if the velocity of the cannonball was high enough, the projectile would fall at a rate that matched the curvature of the earth and would therefore circle the globe. Newton realised this as a result of contemplating the orbit of the moon. Newton realised that the moon was continuously falling towards the earth, but that it had sufficient tangential velocity that its rate of fall was matched by the curvature of its orbit. Newton proposed that the orbit of the moon was the product of the tangential velocity of the moon and acceleration due to gravity as a result of the presence of the mass of the Earth. Newton outlined this thought experiment in his Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, published in the year 1687. This thought experiment is usually referred to as Newton's cannon. In this thought experiment, a projectile fired from a cannon on a high mountain will follow the trajectory marked in A on the diagram it will follow a parabolic trajectory falling back towards the Earth. If given greater initial velocity, it will travel further and follow the trajectory marked B, in which it will still follow a parabolic trajectory falling back towards the Earth, but will travel further before it actually impacts with the surface of the Earth. If the projectile is given just the right amount of velocity, it will follow the trajectory C. It will fall towards the Earth at the same rate as the curvature of the Earth and therefore circle the Earth at the same altitude. If given even more velocity, it would enter an elliptical orbit represented by the trajectory D. And further velocity still would mean that it had enough velocity to escape the Earth's gravity and would follow the trajectory marked E. Newton considered escape velocity in terms of a cannon fired horizontally from a very tall mountain. Newton realised that if you fired the cannonball with enough velocity, it would fall at the same rate as the curvature of the Earth and therefore go into orbit. If the cannonball was given an even higher initial velocity, it would enter first an elliptical orbit and then with a greater initial velocity still, it would escape the Earth's gravity entirely. 